Do you know anything about salty seas? You know everything about salt, you salty bastard. Hey, if you lick, it's like a salt lick? It's like licking Anthony. It's like me licking my... You know what? Forget it. I'm not even going to go there. We can't do that no, on TV. No, no. That's, that's, that's on our... That's our only fans. fans. <laughs> Welcome Misfits to another Under the Lid, and today we're taking a look at Salt and Sea by Devere. Now, I previewed this game, well, previewed is a strong word because they didn't have a uh, they didn't have a gameplay demo there, um, but it was at a our recent PAX U videos, and they showed off the contents of it, they talked about it a little bit, but we never did actually get to see the gameplay, did we, Misfits? Huh? Oh, like, no, they didn't play. They didn't, they, you just conned them into opening the box and showing I, I literally, <laughs> I had to beg Vlad just to open the box. Was it Vlad? Was it Vlad? No, it wasn't Vlad, it was... Um, it was the other guy. My boss. My bad. My brain the is... The boss. The boss. It was the big boss. We'll just call him the big boss. But I conned him into opening the box of this and take a look at the content. So I'm actually super stoked because guess what? I'm going to be able to play it. Um, now this is a um, pre-copy that they sent us. Is this even out yet? I don't even know if this is out yet. It's not out yet. Dang. So we're just that special. Devere, they love us. Devere likes us. So as usual with Devere, all of the languages you could possibly want. But we are sadly ignoramuses and only understand one. So English. But as usual... With Devere, they are second to none with their theme, and they do a good job. Now, this is a pretty... That's a beefy rule book. That is a beefy rule book. I think I see some economy action going on. I smell economy. This is going to be good. This is, my, this is my forte. So, one thing I do love about Devere especially is they are really good at cramming a lot of stuff into these, these size boxes. I actually love this design. So, I'm going to start out with the minis. For, well, not minis, but... Meeps. Meeps. Yeah, we call Meeps. We should coin the new term meeps. Is that like peeps, but with meeples? Sure. Why not? Short for meeples. Meep. 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 <laughs> so we have minis here. Looks like you got your little oil rig workers. Now, Salt and Sea is an actual real place, I guess, in California, if I recall correctly. And, uh, you know, I could give you the blurb, but there's, yeah. no, but there's no blurb on the back. Let me read the blurb in the front. Is there a blurb in the front, guys? Come on, tell me you give me a blurb here somewhere. Aha! Yes, it's a very unique body of water located in California near the border of Mexico. I guess they, um, you know, mine stuff there. It's oil. Like, it's like, not oil, it's like... Salt. <laughs> it's like no. rare earth materials or something. It's a lot like of mining. It's a around. lot of mining going on there. So this is an economy-based game based on, you know, basically mining, obviously, the salt and sea. It's a very real place. Uh, Devere is very good for using a lot of real-world themes in their games, which I absolutely love. So these are the meeples, these are the minis, the meeps, as we'll call them. We'll go ahead and pull out these tiny little cards. They're so cute. They're tiny cards. They're like real cards, but tiny. Right? Right? Yeah. So we got some cards here. It looks like uh, iconography. Of course, I don't understand yet, but it looks like you're gaining and losing money and building things. Yeah, I think you build rigs in mine. Very pretty art. I like the art. I haven't seen, actually, you know what the funny thing is? I don't think I've seen too many modern themes from... Um, from Devere in a while, right? Yeah. It hasn't been a modern theme, like everything. Like Mozart making mines or something like that. You know, yeah, I feel like it's, yeah, this is going to be Mozart slash ancient Japan slash. Jesus. The yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 1940s, Salt and Sea, you know, this. I don't think, I don't, I can't remember a Devere game for modern times. Even the, the Russian one, what was it? A Red Cathedral wasn't modern times, you know, it was like all, these are quick cards and things like that. But that's pretty funny. Probably different languages. I think Luna Capital yep. is the only one that kind of was modern. Well, I mean, technically future, right? Well, no, it was... It's future. It was actually past. Oh, this is a little banged up. i to open it nice. Okay. Be so careful. Here. I am being careful. I'm always, I'm always careful here at Misfit HQ. Come on, buddy. So, this is the board. Looks pretty nice. It's pretty, pretty standard size for most of their game boards uh, for this box. And then, of course, they cram in the player boards, which are... Have nice recesses in them. Obviously, these are all the same, but obviously it's where you put your upgrades, cards, things like that. I mean, they look, yeah. Other than color, they're all the same pretty much. Of course, I flipped it upside down like a dude, but here you go. Here you go. I like when they have little recesses for the cards and stuff. Yes, I know they get too excited, Tom. I'm not too excited. Are you sure? I'm just reasonably excited. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> So, and here's our cardboard. Surprisingly, there's not a lot of cardboard in this game. You wow, can because it was a heavy box for that little box. Man, I know. 
So money, some uh, statistic stuff, looks like some add-ons to your, actually I'm not even sure what these are for, Pro maybe to cover up stuff. I don't know. We're gonna find out, go guys. This is actually all that's in the box. Surprisingly, um, although this is quite, a, this is this is a bit, but I've seen magic come out of this box, like tons of stuff. So I mean, I was actually surprised there isn't a little more, but there's still a lot in here. Believe me, there's a lot of game. I don't know um, if we're gonna fit it all back in the box. Anyway. We're gonna fit it in. Don't worry. We'll fit it. So guys, thanks for attending another Under the Lid. This is Salt and Sea by DeVere. We're definitely going to have more talks about this. We'll review it, of course, and we'll have a good time with this one. I love economic games. And uh, yeah, this looks like a, fun, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay. Till then, guys, of course. Good